Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. Today, I'm starting my holiday shopping guide with beanies. And if you're looking to pick up a beanie or you're looking to give somebody a gift, this is an easy choice. So I'm gonna go through a lot of options from the relatively cheap to the relatively luxurious. And of course, if you're looking to pick up any of these beanies, check out my links down below. They help out the channel. You can pick it up right now. And most of them have relatively quick shipping. So that's ideal. Let's get into it. We also have the beanie cam right here. To make sure we don't you don't miss any beanie action. So the first one is a classic. This is the Carhartt acrylic hat. And I got it in this wild hunter orange color. I love this. So one of the reasons that this hat is such a classic piece is because it's relatively inexpensive and it's made pretty well and it also just like has that iconic beanie look you know it looks a little crazy on me right now but like this is what you expect a beanie to look like and it's got the carhartt logo so what i like about this choice is it's not expensive it's like 15 dollars it comes in a lot of different colors. So even if you're thinking about picking this up for somebody and you're like, I don't know if they have it already, you could probably get it in a color they definitely don't have. And it holds its shape and color without pilling too much. And for what it's worth, it's like if you're picking this up for a friend, it's a branded item that's not expensive. It's got that Carhartt logo. So it's kind of cool without breaking the bank. This is a go-to. You really can't get go wrong with it. The next choice is a little more adventurous and it's a type of beanie that I've had in the past and I really like it. It is a Rothko Army or Navy surplus beanie. So when I started this, I wanted to get like the original nightcap or watch cap. I wanted the hat that the US Navy wore, presumably keeping sailors warm. So I found this one by Rothko. To begin with, this is only $10. You can get it right now on Amazon. And according to the label, and I would assume that it's correct, it's made in the US and it's 100% wool. It is super warm. And it's like double layered, so it's really thick. And it definitely has like that classic beanie look. So like it's long, so you can like roll it up as many times as you want. See, pop, pop, pop. You can kind of have like a, look, I look like a, I look like a sailor right now. I'm a sailor, straight up. Here's the one con. This is 100% wool and you know, it's for soldiers, it's for the Navy. This isn't the softest wool. It's a little bit scratchy. But what I love about it, other than being super cheap, is it really holds its shape. So if you love aesthetics, if you love fashion like me or the person you're thinking about getting it for, loves fashion this is the type of piece that's a little weird that they can't really get in the store you can only buy it like at army surplus places and it's going to look cool throughout winter next let's get a little more luxurious let's say you're really trying to get a nice gift you're trying to flex with this beanie i've got you covered this is the everlane cashmere beanie so Everlane, I'm always kind of on the fence about, but I wanted to give them a try, especially because I was looking at different cashmere options. And of course, if you're gonna do the ultimate, ultimate flex, there is the Elder Statesman for like $400. But if you're um, among the land of the living like we are, this is a relatively good choice. And to their credit, I'll say Everlane has some really nice colors. Like this one is called Cactus Flower. It's like a pinkish, reddish, I, I love it. It's not too garish, like just straight red, but it's like a little subdued, but still very vibrant. And I'll show you in the beanie cam. So it's a knit material and it is super soft, but this is not 100% cashmere and that's to its benefit. It's a elastic and I think maybe another synthetic material. Let's take a look. So it's a nylon and elastic or elastane. And that really helps this beanie out because if it was 100% cashmere, it would be very knit and kind of more stiff. But because it has some of those synthetic materials in there, I bet it's going to be a little more durable and it's super, super comfortable as a result. 
So at around $60, this is a splurge. This is a splurge gift or it's a splurge buy. But, I mean, you probably wear your beanie every day in the winter. You gotta remember that like, like your jacket, you're gonna be seeing it all the time. And it's important that it's, you know, it's nice. If you wanna spend, a, you know, a good amount of money on something that's not huge, that you're not sure if the person already has one of these things, this beanie is not a bad choice. I am of the persuasion where I'd rather have a few really nice things. And this is a very warm beanie. Only thing I would say to knock it is it's like a more modern. So, it, it, you know, it doesn't look silly and goofy, but you know, that's not, most people want to look normal. Okay, let's say you're crazy. You're avant-garde. The person you're buying it for is like a real fashion aesthetic person. Or on the flip side, they love the look of beanies, but they live in like LA. They can't really wear beanies. I got you covered. This is a COS. I think they call it, they might call it a beanie. They call it like a padded hat. This hat has the aesthetic of a beanie, but it's not necessarily as restrictive or hot as like a knit beanie is. The COS has another one very similar that I'll include a link to as well, because I wanted to see if there was a hat that like captured the look of a beanie that was a little weird and a little different without being too hot, and I think this nails it. So, one thing I'll say off the bat, I look kind of weird in this hat, I agree. I think it's because my hair is super short right now, but if you have a little longer hair, it's gonna look a little more normal. But what I like about it is, in essence, it's kind of like a snapback without the uh, brim. But it, the padded element kind of gives it a little interesting texture. And it's not, it, it will probably keep you warm if it's super like hot or if it's super cold out. But it's also the kind of thing that if either this model or the other one that COS has, where you could wear this without like sweating to death. Like this is just like a hat, like a snapback. So if you aesthetically want to capture that beanie vibe without dying of heat exhaustion, this COS piece is weird. It's cool. I think it's a go, a go, go getter. So guys, that is my shopping guide. Stay tuned for more holiday shopping guides and please use the links down below if you're interested in picking any of these up. It really helps out the channel. Let me know if you plan on picking up any of these beanies and what you think of the guide. I love, you know, showing off pieces. I'm probably gonna have to return most of these. But I love taking a look and kind of giving you guys some advice about what you can buy or what you can give as a gift because stuff like this is easy. Everybody needs a beanie and you can probably pick one up and they'll love it. So I'll catch you guys later. What is this? This didn't exist yet. Oh no, I'm stranded here on this desert island. Huh? You're like clueless. You have no idea what I'm talking about. What brand would you pick to wear for the rest of your life? And that's the only brand you can ever wear again. In my day, a pair of Levi's jeans would last you until a million years, and now they're all trash. This design is so practical and has become so ubiquitous that even me, shopping for the cheapest chair set that I could find on Amazon, ended up buying a clearly Eames-inspired set. This is a wardrobe. Intervention. Yeah, I don't think of that as a disadvantage, really. Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian, 